Today students, I'm Mark Mendoza, I can call Mr. M. Let's mark up your math skills today. For this video, we will be discussing the second theorem on limits at infinity of polynomials. But before we continue with this video, please watch the video about the first theorem. The link is in the description. Theorem number 2 states that for any polynomial p of x, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit of p of x are determined by the limit of the highest power term. Let us have some examples. Let's find the limit of the function x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 3 as x approaches positive infinity. Since x cubed is the highest power term, let us analyze its limit. According to theorem 1, which states that the limit for any positive odd integer n as x approaches positive infinity is equal to positive infinity, then we can say that the outputs for the expression x cubed are increasingly large positive numbers. As you can see in the graph, the right-hand limit of the function is positive infinity. For the second example, let's find the limit of 7 minus 3x minus 2x squared as x approaches positive infinity. Following the same procedure in the first example, let us identify the limit of the highest power term. According to theorem 1, we can say that the outputs for the expression x squared are increasingly large positive numbers. If you then multiply it by negative 2, the outputs become increasingly large negative numbers. So the right-hand limit of the given function is negative infinity. This can also be proven by the graph of the given function. Let's find the limit of 4x to the third plus 2x squared minus 3x as x approaches positive infinity. The highest power term of the given function is 4x cubed. According to theorem 1, we can say that the outputs for the expression 4x cubed are increasingly large positive numbers. Therefore, the right-hand limit of the function, as shown also by its graph, is positive infinity. Now it's your turn. Please pause the video and try these examples. Here are the answers and solutions to the given problems. And that is the second theorem on limits at infinity of polynomials. Watch the next video for theorem number 3. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something today.